Now, everything is ready for measurement to begin. First, install the ADCP onto the boat and prepare for measurement. The water level observer has to record the starting water level. Next, check the distance from starting edge. It's useful to set the edge distances on both sides of the river during a test run across the river before you take measurements. At least two cells should be collected at both edges. For the purpose of collecting data to calculate the discharge in the extrapolated range, collect samples at a fixed position for 10 seconds as you begin measurement. Begin measurement while maintaining the boat speed at 50% or lower than the velocity. One thing you have to keep in mind here is that, unlike other measurement methods, the results in quality may differ according to the proficiency of the boat operator. While taking transect measurements, situations such as deviation from the course may occur depending on the velocity. If you change the course by force, the course may become a U-shape. Please remember that if the boat deviates from the planned course, shift the course naturally in a diagonal direction. This makes it easier to calibrate the measurement results later on. We're now finished taking measurements. All we have to do now is compile the data. The raw data of the measurement taken by the M9 is stored in the sensor's internal memory. When the measurement is finished, you need to download the data onto the computer. How was it? Was it helpful? Today we took a look at how to perform the moving boat method using the ADCP. Thank you for watching.